We've all met someone whose presence exudes happiness. They are a living, breathing ray of sunshine that everyone can sense. They always have a smile on their face, take on life with a positive attitude, and take challenges in stride. You might wonder if they were born that way. In reality, that person most likely had to put in a lot of effort to become someone who exudes positivity. While being positive may come more naturally to some, it is not for everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss what it means to radiate positivity, why you should, and how to get started radiating positivity like a boss. By doing this, you will attract more positive people into your life. This has the appearance of a snowball effect. People will want to be around your positive energy. You will encourage each other to be more positive and attract other positive people. You'll begin to feel more positive about yourself and your life. Are you ready to build an aura that radiates positivity? Well, let's take a look at 10 ways you can create a positive aura today. Number 1. Connect with your emotions. The first step toward radiating positivity is to become aware of your own emotions. The truth is that how you act, speak, and carry yourself reflects how you feel. Even if you are unaware of it, others will notice. No matter how hard you try to hide your jealousy, anger, or sadness, it will show through in subtle ways. That is why, to radiate positivity, you must first reflect on your inner self. Number 2. Do a digital detox. A digital detox is a deliberate break from all forms of technology. It's not just about turning off your phone or computer, but also about avoiding social media, TV, and any other form of screen entertainment. It's a good idea to concentrate on social media, specifically for positivity. So much negativity stems from social media. When you take a break from social media, you will be less tempted to compare yourself to others. You'll no longer feel the need to buy the latest cool gadget or clothing item to make your life complete. Social media convinces us that there is something wrong with us or our lives when there isn't. With all of this negativity eliminated, positive energy will flow much more easily. Number 3. Practice Gratitude Appreciating the good in your life, even the small things, is what gratitude entails. It also implies being grateful for who you are and what you have, regardless of who you are or what you have. Gratitude has numerous advantages for both your mental and physical health. One of them, of course, is that it makes you happier and more optimistic. There are numerous ways to practice gratitude, but it only takes five minutes per day to get started. Simply make a list of everything you have to be thankful for. When you concentrate on what you have to be thankful for, your positive energy will begin to shine through. Number 4. Dedicate time for self-care. Making yourself a priority is like showering yourself with the richest blessings. To radiate positivity, you must first take care of yourself. This may appear to be contradictory. After all, wouldn't someone who exudes positivity want to spend their time and energy on others? To spread positive energy to others, you must first give some to yourself. Everyone's definition of self-care is different, but it's critical to find something that works for you. When you choose self-care, you prioritize yourself. Tell yourself, I deserve positivity, love, and care. This will have a significant impact on how you carry yourself. Number 5. Try Meditation What does meditation have to do with being happy? When you meditate, you concentrate on your breathing and clear your mind of all distractions. This allows you to unwind and recharge while also allowing positive thoughts and feelings to enter your mind. When you meditate, you become more aware of your thoughts, both positive and negative. This ability will serve you well in everyday life. As a result, people who meditate may appear to have a calming, positive aura around them. They've trained their minds to be capable of doing so. Any type of meditation that works for you is a good place to start. But you can also begin with meditations designed specifically to increase positive energy. Number 6. Practice Active Self-Compassion now you need to understand that self-compassion is being kind and understanding to yourself daily. It is not judging or punishing yourself, but rather being supportive and forgiving. It's much easier to let go of negative thoughts and feelings and radiate positive energy when you're able to be self-compassionate. So how do you cultivate self-compassion? When you notice negative thoughts creeping in, like when you feel you're not good enough, or saying, I'll never figure this out, just stop. 
Talk to yourself as you would talk to someone you care about. Say things like, everything will be fine. You are intelligent and capable, and you will succeed. If you continue to do this, believe me when I say that your positive relationship with your inner self will shine through. Number 7. Take up a new hobby Taking up a new hobby is an unexpected way to spread happiness. Positive people are not afraid to try new things or learn new skills. And, as a result, you will become more self-assured. Someone who chooses to pursue a new hobby has a positive attitude. You'll be surprised at how much you can learn about yourself by taking up a new hobby, like painting, writing, or rock climbing. And when you show yourself that you are not afraid to try new things, your confidence will skyrocket and others will notice it. Number 8. Be kind to strangers One of the simplest ways to spread goodwill and positivity is to be kind and friendly to others. Making a conscious effort to be kind not only makes others happy, but it also makes you happy. It could be as simple as greeting or smiling at a stranger you pass by. Pay attention to the people you interact with on a daily basis. It's easy to overlook the employee at the coffee shop or the other people in the elevator when you're caught up in your daily routine. Instead, make a concerted effort to be nice, extend compliments, tip extra when possible, and always say please and thank you. You never know when your act of kindness will be remembered. Number 9. Practice Visualization When you visualize, you focus your mind on a specific image or outcome. This can be carried out in a variety of ways, like meditation, prayer, and daydreaming. When you visualize a positive outcome, you subconsciously direct yourself in that direction. Some consider this to be a manifestation technique. Whatever you call it, visualization can help you stay optimistic about the future and achieve your objectives. Essentially, you can train yourself to operate at a higher frequency by visualizing it. That is, you walk confidently into the future, hoping for the best. Using visualization can help you to find the exciting places you're going. This will give you confidence and optimism, and it will show in how you approach each day. Number 10. Forgive Forgiveness is one of the most potent weapons in your arsenal. It enables you to release negative emotions and move on with your lives. When you hold grudges against people instead of forgiving them, you will be surrounded by a cloud of rage, hurt, and even fear. And how could you be cheerful when you were carrying such a heavy load? When you forgive those who have hurt you, you restore your happiness and peace of mind. However, forgiveness is not easy. It is a time-consuming and labor-intensive process, and it is unique to each individual. Some people must forgive themselves, while others must forgive others. The most important thing is to forgive yourself first, and then work on forgiving those who have hurt you in the past. When you do this, you will feel as if a huge weight has been lifted from your shoulders. That's all for today, guys. If you have any other ideas on how to radiate more positive auras, please tell us in the comments section below. However, before you go, please like and subscribe to this channel for more inspiring content like this. Bye for now.